Hello and welcome along. Uh, we are back on Lone Oak Farm today and uh, it is still day six, late spring. Uh, after last time's mowing and uh, I'm rowing up, uh, we're going to be doing some silage today. So we are going to control both machines. We've got the uh, the 7R, the 7310R here on Follow Me uh, and, uh, and we have our uh, 8500i uh, doing the collection. So let's jump in here, start it up. Right, uh, we'll fold out our, yeah, there we go. I think it has reached the tractor, that's brilliant. The tractor is all set up. So we need to unfold our pickup, there we go. And off we go, so this should, yeah, there we go. Hoping that tractor's in turn, yeah, there it is. So it's slightly ahead of us at the moment, uh, but it should keep up fine. Yeah, there we are. Perfect. So we just got to keep an eye on how full the tractor is. Uh, the bottom right hand corner, we can see that. So that's great. Once we get onto the straight bit here, uh, I am going to uh, turn the, um, turn the, uh, actually no, when we go down the back straight, I'm going to get a screenshot. Uh, I'm also going to just pull that tractor back slightly. Uh, and pull it in slightly as well, I think. Oh, no, there. And there we go. Oh, we actually have IC control on this. I did not realise that. 25% uh, full. Perfect. We're on a nice straight thing now. So pop outside and have a look at this, uh, this setup. Pretty cool setup, this. Uh, I like it very, very much. Oop. Same button that hides the HUD, so I uh, also turns the uh, turns the spout off. There we go. Right, so that is going to be what I use for today, I think. Quite like that. It would be good to get it actually from the other side, because right, there's something of a, uh, a lack, but uh, we're okay. That will do for now. I'm going to go back in cab, which I you know, really lovely view this. So how much what have we got? I think actually. Oh, we can pull the steering wheel closer to us. So I've got the uh, the tractor on follow me uh, on the outside uh, because obviously if I put it on the on the right hand side of it, what happens is it ends up uh, getting in the way when I turn. The seven R is uh, is a great little tractor for this. Uh, we do still have the dual rear wheels on. I've seen no reason actually to remove them so far. Uh, if anybody does know of a reason why uh, removing the tools is, is good, but I'm just trying to not to compact the ground everywhere too much. Not such a worry on the brass, but uh, a little bit more of a worry when we're working the fields. But yeah, so this is our first cut this year, and this will uh, serve us well. Uh, it should mean that we get a full harvest come the middle of the year. So uh, what we're going to do is, at the end of summer, we're going to do a cut of this. Uh, of this field, we will do hay and we will do uh, silage off the other one. So that's the basic plan, is that these two will do that. Then come the, uh, come the autumn, but what I'm going to try and do is grass seed. So I'm going to try and find a mod that I can do grass seed with. There we go. That's 100%. So turn the following me off on the tractor. Forgetting that I've got um, uh, that I've got IC on that harvest. That's fantastic. Uh, so 47,000 uh, and we haven't done the entire headland yet. That is really good. That is a very nice amount of grass we're going to get off this field. Uh, it would be nice if I could keep it going. The big trouble we've got is we can't use course play with uh, these unless it's a drive-through one so uh, two options there is either I, I alter the map and try and create this as a drive-through uh, silage pit or silage clamp or uh, I uh, do this myself now there is another way I could do this actually 
I know because I can't. The trouble is I can't set the harvester going on its own. If it was mowing, I could. Right, let's see where we are. We're not. We're almost in back. So we need a tip here. Yeah, we should get a very nice amount out of this. Uh, out of it. That's this field. And, uh, really. 47,000 pieces off with one run around the field and we've got at least three headwinds. That's, uh, that's quite something. Right, let's get this tractor back to the field and get it set back on Follow Me. And, uh, and then we'll head uh, round again with our uh, harvester. I'm wondering if our harvester... Back in place. So does our harvester also have stone oh, No, it doesn't. Okay, so we do. We can open the door from the inside, but uh, we can't open it from the outside. I'm, I'm really loving mods at the moment that have that ability to open the door from the uh, from the outside really allows us to sort of catch, uh, to, to add that little bit more of, um, of realism to it. So yeah, it is actually only two rounds of the field and we can almost do an entire round with one trailer. So that's good news. Why that number keeps going up? I'm happy. It's keeping an eye on all of this. This is a great way to do grass silage. Uh, I really quite love this. I'm wondering if I, uh, well, no, I can't really do hay. Well, you could do piles of hay this way, but obviously I'm after hay bales. So, uh, yeah, that is complete rubbish. I was about to talk then. Oh, uh, dear. Um, but yeah, this setup is really great. This should allow us to do this quite quickly. Uh, I don't, I think we should have a second full trailer. Uh, not too long. It's, uh, it's very manoeuvrable, this harvester. Uh, what else have we got? There's, there's all sorts of buttons here. On this. Which is quite cool. I'm sort of trying to do a steady 9 miles an hour at the moment. If I can hold that, then, uh, then we'll be in a good position. We'll get things done fairly quickly. We are half full. So yeah, we're not going to make it the whole way on a second round here. We're going to have to go and tip again. Um, but yeah, we are we are getting a very nice. So this is nearly a hundred thousand meters off this, uh, almost immediately. Uh, and we're going to do two runs of the fields on this, and we're not going to immediately turn all this into silage. Uh, it's uh, with seasons the cows don't require quite so much feeding over the summer. So uh, yeah, we can uh, we can get away with not having this as silage uh, until well we're basically going to create silage from this in the autumn. So six more days uh, before we then uh, probably in a live stream I think we'll um, turn this into into silage. And it just works. This just this setup just works so nicely. Uh, we are, we're going to almost make it back at round, uh, honestly, until uh, maybe the whole way around the field. I think we're going to be slightly short of where we were before. Yeah, look at that. 95. Actually, we're going to be pretty much where we were. That little bit that you, um, that you don't get. Wow, this is, this is something of a mess, this corner. What was I doing around here with our, uh, with our mower? Probably get most of this. Oh, we are 100% though, so that will stop that there. Jump out, so yeah. Pop around. And again, open this door, jump in, take the follow me off. Close our door up, and away we go. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna be in a position where we're gonna collect that up, and um, it should be. I think we've got the widest head uh, there on our 
harvesters, so we should be alright for that. There we go. Right, I'm going to try and stick this in the other corner. Let's have a go at that. There we go. So I've, uh, I, obviously I've put up, out my um, video on FS19 now and everything I saw at FarmCon. Um, hope you guys have had a chance to see it. Uh, please go and check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it now. Now that I feel like I can talk about it because I've revealed everything uh, that, that I know, uh, I am very, very much looking forward to uh, FarmCon. Uh, sorry, FarmCon, FS19. Wow, that almost hit me with that out. And that doesn't disappear into a hole, I don't mind. Right, am I off again? Part of me feels that like I probably should have been the dual wheels on this. But hey, I've seen, uh, I've seen karting down with dual wheels on this, so I don't see why not. Right, so let's follow again. Jump out. weird to be kind of that on the corner and that was not helpful so we're gonna do um, sort of the every other row method. in order to keep the tractor on the correct side the easiest way to do it is to do almost a circular motion uh, with the rows that we do. so we're going to start at the other end uh, otherwise we're going to be in place back towards the farm. Uh, I think we're going to fit probably about four or five rows in there. So but yeah, so basically we won't take the next row, we'll turn and take the row after and that just means that we can keep turning to the right each time uh, when we work this. Might even be better to not take the next row, but the row after. I don't know if that, I don't think that actually quite works. So there we go. We're moving at a good rate now, at uh, 11 miles per hour. And the tractor is keeping up with this nicely. I know, I'm gonna alter my cruise control actually, and bring that down to that speed. So every other row, I'm going to set off the cruise control. And what I'm then going to do is I can set it so that it stops at 100%. There we go. So let's speed it back up. No, okay. Doesn't quite detect it right. That's something. Still reaching it there. It will catch up with me. There we go. Oh, we should close our door as well. This is quite dusty work. Uh, this is filling up really quickly, actually. We are half full already in our trailer. So it gets a bit of a sharp turn here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring us over to the left a little bit. And then spin around see that then and then catch it again on the right uh, and the tractor keeps with me because we're doing a nice steady speed now that we're on course play uh, not course play on uh, cruise control uh, and it means that the tractor just keeps uh, uh, completely the right speed for what we're do. so then the next one we take is uh, is that far one over there so again we miss a row out and take the next row and that way we just keep um, working our way to the right until we actually have to go in the other direction. 
we're at 87 percent full so i think we've got we've got maybe two more runs of the trailer here It's quite a wide gap to know. So, uh, we're 92%. That's quite good. We're going to hit 100%. Whoa. We got out of range, unfortunately. Oh, why? Oh, because it now has to be at the back. So, we're going to pull in forward slightly. And that's it. So this is takes us up to 140, what, um, 141,000 liters of silage so far, or, or of grass so far off this field. Uh, that's a really decent amount. That's a really good amount. I'm happy with that. I would say we should have silaged uh, the other field as well, but. Uh, doesn't quite fit with what I'm trying to do at the moment. I do want to alternate between the two. I do want to make sure that I have a nice even amount of hay bales as well as a, a nice even amount of silage. Right, there we go. So yeah, this is this is going very nicely. I think we are going to get all of this done today. Uh, slightly longer video as a result, I think, but uh, should be good. Uh, great demand for sugar beet. Yeah, we're not got many rows here. Uh, I think I think a maximum we've got two more uh, loads or two more loads. Follow. Jump out. Well, her door, I think. I think we have a, a female driver this time. I kind of like the contractor mod. I'm, I'm tempted to get it uh, just so that uh, we have a set set of hired workers be quite nice. I like the idea that you have the same people working on the farm all the time. Right, uh, but yes, I'm, uh, so yeah, as I said a minute ago, I'm looking to do a grass seed up here. Whoa. some grass seed on here. Uh, I've seen it several times and uh, and I think it would be a really good thing to do. So uh, I think we might have a go with that a bit later. Tractor is trying to keep pace with me. And uh,
clear up this little bit I missed earlier and that means we continue to turn to the right I need him to turn As that is the only trouble with having the tractor so far ahead of us, is that it just it does mean that we have this issue. Uh, if we try and turn right round, you need to very gently sort of bring it back round, uh, and it's a little bit annoying for that. We are at 67 percent. Ah, so I think we are going to go. We're going to be have about a half hour video today, uh, just getting uh, got this. Certainly, this row we will collect up. Uh, we may collect up the next row. In fact, I'm not so sure. Uh, we'll collect up the next row, but we got we got one more trailer to tip, and then uh, one final one to tip as well. Uh, because whether that's a full one or not, I don't know. Yeah, so this is going to be a proper. I need to go and get that bit there. So this is where it gets interesting. Don't want to leave that much, so we're gonna go there, catch it on the right hand side, cut across quickly and come back and hopefully tractor swerves enough yep, to then get out of the way. Nice tractor driving there, uh, my friend. I think that's Gemma. So I think it's the uh, G on the uh, in the thing. So uh, yeah, I think that's Gemma. And uh, 98, 99, and 100. There we go. So we'll leave Gemma now, and we'll see who else. But that's a good bit of driving from her there. But uh, we'll leave her now. Let's go and away. Let's go tip this one, and then as I said one more train for me to go and tip. Once we've done that, we will uh, be in a really good place. We'll, uh, we're going to have... So we're, we're verging on with what? We're 12,000 meters under 200,000 with this now. That's really good. That's a really good start for our silage setup. We don't have any down at BJ. I always can go and sell some down at BJ, of course. But uh, yeah, at the moment we don't have any down at BJ. Um, we don't have really the setup to do that. We're not we're not a big silage setup. We might be eventually, but certainly at the moment we're just we're basically just doing wheat, soybeans, and uh, and a bit of silage for the cows. That's emptying nicely now. Hopefully this will go out here. No, not quite. Let's get that finishing. And... Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Uh, so part of the thing is we've got the wheel loader here. And, uh, and that does do the thing of uh, uh, that we should be able to do everything we need to do with the silage with that. It's the nice thing about using a wheel loader on this map as opposed to uh, a telehandler or anything like that. We are able to, to do the big stuff right off the get-go. Right, so we have one more row to go here. I'm just going to jump out this time and let that go. Perfect. Uh, so one more line to do uh, on these strips and, uh, and just the end strips here. That will then be us done. I said, and I would call that a successful silage harvest. It's a good amount of silage we've got from it. It's. Uh, it means that we're we're going to be in a good place going forwards. And 
uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with this. Uh, this will fit in this trailer. Looking at this. Uh, let's lift it up. We're going quite away this time, so we lift the head up. We're going to go down to the bottom end of the field. Get these last four rows, I think. Tractor is coming up beside us. Down with that. On to our speed. Yeah, there we go. Tractor can easily keep up with us. Uh, and it will all go into this trailer. So I won't go and tip this trailer at the end. Uh, we will finish um, just with these two machines together. We have uh, we have over 200,000 litres of silage, uh, which is fantastic. Or, or 2,000 litres of grass to turn into silage, I should say. Uh, and that would be fantastic. That will, uh, that will set us up very, very nicely going into the remains of the year. Uh, we should get a similar amount of silage off the other field at the end of summer. Uh, and so we will then process all of it uh, into silage properly uh, at the end of the year. It's going to be interesting getting the quarry last little bit. We're going to have to swing around in such a way that the, uh, the tractor uh, doesn't get caught out. In fact, I know exactly how I'm going to do it. We'll finish down this end with that other strip of signage. We'll go and catch the little bits up here. Or maybe not. They are a bit far. Lift the head up again because we are trouble quite away. But I'm not speeding up at all yet. Now I am. Header down, pick that up, and then just one last strip to go. Here we are. So that will be, uh, yeah, another 50, uh, sorry, another 50%, over 50% full. So that's a really good amount of, uh, of, of grass silage we have. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, that's it. So I'm just going to uh, turn off that. Uh, we'll put our thing in, and uh, and that's us done. I'm uh, I'm really pleased with that. That has gone stupendously well. Uh, so I'm going to leave this here. And uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and the live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.